Because what? Because what does what does the what is the what was it what we read from what? The ancient the Bible of ancient knowledge. You know what it says. We say it's, uh, the Renaissance is uh, not the. Of, uh, culture in Europe, but it's a sign for um, rebirth of the general. No, 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 no. What this is, is no, check this out. Basically, it's the rebirth of ancient women. It's basically, it tells you in, in the book of Revelation, the 20th chapter. style like buildings. Why is that? Because spiritually, when you build spiritually, this is ancient Rome again. Roman numerals. Roman numerals. I was taught Roman numerals. That's why I can read the Bible with Roman numerals because that's what I was taught. So, so words of Latin origin. Yeah. yeah. That Latin origin. No. Um, yeah. You know, certain, certain days of the week. Yeah. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah. You know, you have all... Um, So the thing with um, John, um, John um, moved to the island of um, Patmos, yeah. which was a salt mine, which was a salt mine land. So basically he had these visions and stuff like that, and he's written it down, obviously that's what we have today. So these prophecies, even though it's 2,000 some odd years, some odd years ago, it still stands to, it still stands today. The certain prophecies come, come in effect sometimes probably in 60 years, some 100 years, or 1,000 years. But it's still it acts, so to speak. But what John was prophesying was uh, was a uh, a rebirth of um, uh, 
power and system. The survival of the nation over the system. And dealing with the woman, be the woman part again, brother. Yeah, verse 18. And the woman which thou sawest is that great city. The woman which thou sawest is that great city. Right? Now that great city, which is uh, this ancient city, the influence of this ancient republic, the ancient Rome, is America. It's America. It's America. It's America. It's America. Now, you're, you're, you're a bit older than I am, right? And uh, we show back in like the 70s or the 80s, America was the land to go to. That was the most everybody wanted to go to. It's always a great old That's why you're wait, able wait, to wait. know about the land. idea of democracy, okay, and how, you know, the new thing nowadays is, you know, it's okay for some men, you know, to get married. Okay, go on. Verse 4, and the woman was arrayed in purple and yeah. scarlet color. And the reason why she was arrayed in um, uh, purple is because purple represents royalty. And it said scarlet color. Would you mind if I take some pictures of it? Yeah, you know, not with me, but you can take this side. But that doesn't help me to remind me of the situation. Nah, we don't want to be nice. It's cool. It's cool. You're going. Uh, and decked with gold and precious stones yeah, and gold. Yeah, you said something about the scarlet colored beast. Because yeah. this is scarlet. Because you know what the word scarlet means in this rep. Because what does the scarlet represent? The scarlet represents how you would have a nation of people that would come back into power. Which is Edom. The people of Esau and Edom. Now, the, the Hebrew word for Edom, Mike, is the, um, the word of uh, the one God. Uh, which means rep. So you would have the people that would come back into power, so to speak. Well, yeah. The scarlet colored beast. Get yeah, going, brother. Yeah, I think I got an idea. I think I got an idea, and um, of course, you, you, are, you are smart guys, and you, you know that probably your concept is quite yeah, good yeah, for yeah. me. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, the Heavenly Father blesses with this knowledge, you know. We didn't, we didn't come up with this by our own will. It was the Heavenly, it was the will of the Heavenly Father. Because what you're going to find now, whether you believe this or not, what the crap is it about? So when you read, the, when you read um, the, book, the books of the Bible, you understand something. The Lord always gave them that, 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 that spirit or that, that intel to teach the people. Because he chose those men to do that particular job. So that's what we're here to do going. Because we're not like this regular uh, uh, I'm, I'm I'm extremely sorry. sorry. I thank you very, very much for the time you took. Right. Um, I'm finally getting cold and I have an appointment. So thank you very much. Yeah? All right. Yeah. Bye-bye. And that's the whole thing. But at the end of the day, this society, which we are going to go into, too, is going to go into it, is that this society here was only set up for, for a temporal moment in time. You know, and if you would have stood here more longer, I would have told them what was really going to happen here. Is that World War III is going to come and wipe this whole society from the face of the map? That's what's really going to go down. This whole revival of ancient world that we're living in right now, this disgusting system is going to be destroyed. You understand? He's going to write the statements, which I've told him that. Well, actually, I didn't tell him that. All of, this, all of the injustices that was done to our people has collapsed. The God's chosen people. But you're going to revert back to that to that um, topic. Okay. There has to be a recompense of that. They can't go to the sunset and just get away from what they've done. That's not going to happen, man. The Lord required that which is passive. Go on, brother. You've got to be yourself. And it's going to go back to us being the chosen people of God. Right?
you go all the way back to Iraq during the time of 2003, how many Iraqis have been killed from uh, 2003 and beyond? There's been hundreds of thousands that have been killed, man. So the so-called white man, even though he stopped killing our people, okay, in terms of, uh, of a mass scale, not only still into those Iraqis, those people over there in Pakistan, they still drop the drones in um, Iraq and uh, in Pakistan today. So he's still on the killing spree. Go on, brother. Colossians 3 verse 25. Yeah. But he that doeth wrong shall receive the wrong which he hath done. And that's the so-called white man. He's going to receive the wrong which he has done. Because, I mean, we don't really care about those Iraqis. We don't care about those things. That he's even going to pay for that too. Because I'm going to talk to him then, and I'm going to talk to him then, George Bush was in office. You know, they, they, made, they made up this line talking about we're going to go over there in Iraq and uh, 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 Afghanistan because there's weapons of mass destruction. They only went over there to take um, the people's resources, which was the oil, all right, and to slaughter those people over there. Right? And eventually, instead of cover leaders in the enemies, that's why they went really down here. Was really for the interest of the banks and to get this World War III going. That's what it was all about, but the point still stands at the end of the day, man, is that you so called Europeans, you won't pay for what you've done. That's the bottom line, man. You can come up here, try and be nice, and try and be right with us. At the end of the day, the Lord got your freaking number, man. The Heavenly Father got your number. He may can't see right through you, but the Lord knows your spirit, man. And if you, hey, man, see. We don't know the Lord. A lot of these don't know the Lord. Go on, brother. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's it. We're going to go back to how we chose it. Because it's all, it's all going to be well known at the end of the day. As far as it goes down, we get scripture after scripture for the fact that we are the most people. Go on, brother. We going to do. Amos 3 verse 3. It, 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 Amos 3 verse 1, excuse me. Yeah. It is word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, right. You only have I known right. of all the families of the earth. Right, so the Lord said, You only have I known of the families of the earth. Because the families of the earth obviously came out of, um, what is it, Adam, right? Yeah, it's getting more thick, thick and rainy. Right? That was the families of the earth. The people that came out of Adam. And then also the people that came from the Abraham, the Abrahamic uh, lineage. But guess what? In the midst of all of those people, there's a chosen people that the Lord only, only is dealing with. And that still stands in this very moment. And you got Sir Moses, don't come up and say, well, the Israelites have done away with because they broke the laws and all of that. Nah, man. When you read Romans the 11th chapter, it states that um, the Lord didn't deal away with the Israelites. Paul even stated that. All right, so even to this very, yet this, this, this very, this present moment right now, the Lord is still dealing with us. Okay? The Lord is not a man of the Shalai. You can read that in, uh, what is it, Numbers 23 and 19. What's up, Thing, this thing is real, man. This truth is real. Yeah. 
Oh, you said 3 and 24. Tickets are 7, best 23. Oh, okay. Best 23 and 24.